In this video, we're going to provide a brief overview of some of the capabilities of Recon Pro for iOS. For those of you that are not familiar with Recon Pro, Recon Pro is a software solution developed by Automobile Technologies that eliminates the need to collect information on paper. Technicians typically utilize our solution, our mobile application, a web-based application, to create inspections, estimates, work orders, as well as invoices. Managers typically use our solution to set up new jobs, view the status of all work in real time, as well as send insurance assignments to specific devices. Customers use, utilize our solution to approve estimates, uh, look up invoices, as well as view the status of their vehicle repair in real time. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to actually switch over to the mobile device. I'm going to take you through just a very simple example of how you could utilize Recon Pro uh, in a hail setting. So in order to get started, the first thing I need to do is log into the Recon Pro application. So I'm just going to launch it from my iOS device, and you'll see it'll bring me directly to the login screen. So I'm going to log in as Brian Dean. After I log in, you'll see that we currently have customer ABC Insurance Company selected. If I want to select a different customer, I just click on this little customers option here. So from this home screen, we'll have the ability of creating inspections, work orders, and invoices. We also have the ability of receiving uh, assignments from the back office, as well as doing team inspections and team work orders. Team inspections and team work orders are specific functionality that we have that allows you to share inspections in between multiple different mobile devices as well as work orders. And in fact, work orders is actually going to be coming out uh, in the next release of Recon Pro for iOS, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to create an inspection utilizing the hail matrix. So what I'll do is I'm going to select on inspections. You'll see I have one current inspection within the system, and if I wanted to create a work order from that, I could just tap on it and create a work order. In my case, what I'm going to do is I am going to select uh, this little plus button, which is going to ask us to add in a new inspection. So first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask us what inspection type. So depending upon the inspection type, we can prompt for specific information. So uh, a great example of this might be a wholesale hail job might require addi additional information than a retail hail job. So depending upon the inspection type, you can collect those additional pieces of information. So in my case, I'm just going to select hail matrix. And then it's going to bring us to the vehicle information page. So we can either type in the VIN, or if our device has an autofocus camera, we can actually use the autofocus camera uh, to actually decode the VIN. There we go. So in this case, this is a 2006 Kia, and you can see that I use the autofocus camera on my iOS device to capture that. From here, we can also select the color. I can input the mileage information. And then on the second page, we have the stock number, RO, tag number, the date, the tech, as well as the customer. So if we need to select any of this information, we can go ahead and enter it now. And then if I want to move on, I can just click on Next. So from here, we can put in some in insurance information about the claim. Um, in this case, this is just a question form that we've built uh, specifically to collect uh, insurance information nice and easy. If I go ahead and select that, I can, you can see that we have State Farm in there. I can put in the claim number, the policy number whatever the deductible might be, and the accident date. And again, this is completely configurable from within the Recon Pro back office. So next, I'm just going to click on the Next button, and you'll see that we have a price matrix. So this matrix is actually configurable from the back office, and we can accommodate multiple different matrices that can be used in conjunction with one another uh, in real time on these devices. So in this case, let me just go ahead and select the hood, and I'll select the damage size and the damage severity. And you'll see that it automatically brings up the price, which we can override if we need to, and we can specify whether or not there is any aluminum panels, oversized dents, or an R&I associated with this particular vehicle part. Once we're ready, I can just go ahead and click on Save, and you'll see that it added in the price, and it has my subtotal down here. If we wanted to add in additional vehicle parts, we would just follow that same order and add them specifically to the vehicle. In this case, what we're going to do is I'm just going to click on Next, and you'll see I have a separate price matrix in here. We can have multiples. Second piece in here is a job site location. This is a configurable question form that we wanted to collect uh, specifically associated with this inspection type. And then we can ask whether or not we have any required photos. So if I want to capture an image of the front right, I can select the camera. There we go. There's a nice thumbs up for collecting uh, information on an iOS device. And once we're ready, I can just go ahead and click on Done, and that'll save our automotive inspection. There we go. So as you can see, we have that uh, inspection number two from the 16th, 
total price is $34. Now if I would like to create a work order, what I'll do is I'll just click and hold on that. And it's going to ask me if I would like to create a work order. I can view the details. I can edit it. I can print it. I can send it as an email. I can assign it. I can show notes and show pictures. And we can also, if you like, depending upon how the inspection type is configured, we can actually require a digital signature prior to this inspection being approved to a work order. So let me go ahead and select Create Work Order. And from here, it's going to ask us what service package we would like to associate with this work order. In my case, I'm just going to select All Services. And it's going to copy over all of the information from the estimate. So you can see the VIN, make, model, year, mileage, all that information is going to be copied over from the estimate to the work order. It'll also reference the estimate number if we'd like, and if we need to put in any RO number or anything like that associated with this, we can do so now. And then from here, it's going to bring us up a full list of all of the services we have in the system because I selected all services, including our, uh, including our hail matrix. Once we're ready, I can go ahead and click on Next, and it's going to bring us to this order summary screen where we have the opportunity of creating an invoice. Now, if we'd like to create an invoice right now, I can just go ahead and put the check in the box, click on Save, and it'll convert this to an invoice. There we go. So now, if I go to Invoices, you'll see that we have a single invoice here where we have the ability to view details. We could print it. We can save it or excuse me, we can send it as an email, we can add in notes or mark it as paid. And additionally, if you wanted to capture a signature on this invoice, we can do so by clicking on the A to the left. There we go. So in this case, this is just a very simple example of how iOS uh, or how the Recon Pro for iOS application could be used specifically for creating a estimate, a work order, and an invoice utilizing the Hill Matrix. So if you have any questions, please feel free to let us know. Thank you so much.